Hi guys, today we're going to do a small demo of the PlayStation 1 uh, keyboard uh, support for uh, Blue Retro. So there's one CD, the Lightspan uh, online uh, communication CD that ports it. There's a few uh, PS2 uh, keyboard and mouse adapter, the SCPH2000. Uh, uh, a few of those adapters uh, exist, but it's not yet known if, uh, if the Lightspan software was target to use uh, that hardware or if it's using its own uh, keyboard. With the help of some information uh, found on the uh, PS6 uh, dev forum, a user there named uh, NoCash has provided some uh, uh, basic information uh, on what uh, that software expects. So it's expecting ID 96. So the 6 in the ID means there's uh, the frame uh, used 12 bytes. So playing around a bit, I uh, figure out uh, how the protocol works. So what it does is uh, the first byte is uh, the the size of the scan code. So for example, uh, just a make code, the first byte will be one, followed by the the scan code. For the break code, it will be two, followed by uh, F0 and the the key uh, scan code. So pretty much everything. The schematic is provided by a timer uh, on Blue Retro. So we have the cap with shift key, both of them working. Uh, also you got uh, the cap lock and you can also use the shift here to, to lower the key. So pretty much uh, everything is working. So What's remained to be known is, uh, is this the SCPH2000 uh, protocol or if just uh, a standalone keyboard uh, that was planned. So to do that, uh, we will need to use uh, uh, an original uh, adapter, uh, one of those adapters. So with Blue Retro, it's actually easy to, to uh, debug this, uh, to analyze this. So uh, with a special firmware uh, that simply dump uh, both uh, SPI uh, data lane uh, in a terminal so you can just plug the original device and the Blue Retro is just uh, listening on the SPI uh, bus for all the bytes and just dumping them so with this uh, it's very easy to uh, troubleshoot to analyze uh, any uh, PlayStation uh, peripheral so using this method will be very easy for someone who owns that uh, adapter to simply uh, put the Blue Retro in between the console and the, the PS2 keyboard adapter and see uh, what the, the protocol is. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoy it. See ya.